What's up guys, it's Dwayne, back again for another video, back again for another reaction and today is a great, wonderful, beautiful, sweet, delicious day. Do you know why? Because it's another Sweden day. Sweden versus Norway. Life in Sweden compared to life in Norway. Interesting, if you guys haven't um, subscribed to my second channel, don't subscribe to my next second channel because I'm going to be putting all my Norway videos on this channel just so you know <laughs> but um, i've learned a little bit about norway so this is going to be very interesting to see the differences so without further ado let's get into this reaction let's go hello everyone and welcome back to a new video today i'm gonna compare norway to sweden let's see if there's any difference So you probably know that I'm half Norwegian and half German, but that's not important today. And I've been okay. living in Norway for nine years, but I moved to Sweden in August 2021. So I've been living here for almost seven months. And that's why I want to make this video and talk about my mm. experiences here. And Interesting. She's half German, half Norwegian, but lives in Sweden. That's very interesting. Talk about if Norway and Sweden even are different or not. I can tell you that there are a lot of similarities between Norway and Sweden. We'll get mm. to that in a minute. So Sweden and Norway are neighbor countries and they're both part of Scandinavia. And there are fewer people living in Norway. There are about 5 million people. How many people were in Sweden? I have to Google that. Just a second. There are 10.35 million people living in Sweden, so it's double. <laughs> Okay. Double as much as in Norway. I knew there were more people in Sweden. I knew it. <laughs> the languages are pretty similar and I am speaking Norwegian here when I'm speaking to the people here in Sweden and they speak Swedish. We understand each oh. other, but it can be hard. There are some words that are totally different and some words are very similar. And there are also words that are the same, but they don't mean the same. So that makes it even right. harder. I'm going to give you some examples. So the word roli in Norwegian means calm. But there is a similar word in Swedish, which is called rulit, And this means fun. So the okay. meaning of those two words are I totally like different. Opposite. <laughs> <laughs> but as I am half German, there are actually some words that also similar to German. I know I'm supposed to compare Norway to Sweden, but oh, okay. I just want to put that in as a little fun fact. So this is actually an advantage for me because I also speak German. For example, the word fönstid in Swedish means window, which in Norwegian means vindu, which is much closer to English, I realize now. So vindu, window, fönstid means window in Swedish, and fenster in German means window. But in general, oh. most of the words are the same and they're just small differences. Um, for example, if you say milk, it's melk in Norwegian and mjölk in Swedish. So that's why we can understand each other. And as I've been living here for seven months now, I'm getting more and more used to it because I speak to people every day, especially when I'm working at the gym. The people in Sweden in general are very open-minded and it's easy to talk to them if you go to the store or something, they're almost always up to like a little bit of small talk. And I feel like it's the same in Norway, but mm. it's different from city to city in a big... That's interesting she said, she said that you guys are up for small talk. But then I've watched videos where people said Swedish people are not very good at small talk. In big city, they're usually not really talking to each other if, you don't, right. if they don't know each like other. Stockholm. And I think that's normal. If we talk about stores or like supermarkets and stuff like this, grocery stores, um, Sweden and Norway actually have some of the same stores or at least have the same name. And they also have lots of the same products. And sometimes they even look the same, but they might have different names. For example, the chocolate looks almost the same. They're both yellow, but the name of it, it's different. In Norway, it's Freya and in Sweden, it's Marabu. I really love chocolate and I okay. hope I don't offend anyone when I'm saying this. I really love the Norwegian chocolate, 
um, but I feel like they taste the same. Maybe now I just... Because they're probably the same chocolate, just different packaging. Makes sense. You'd have a massive factory, wouldn't you? And then you would ship the chocolate to both Norway and Sweden and put it in different packaging. That's a great business. <laughs> oh, I just got used to the Swiss one, I'm not sure. I'm going to Oslo soon, so maybe I'm gonna bring some chocolate and compare them at the same time. Food in general here, or everything in general here, is cheaper than in Norway. And there are actually a lot of people in Norway who drive across the border to Sweden to go grocery shopping, shopping. there because it's cheaper than in Norway. And during Corona, this was a problem for people in Norway because the borders were closed during Corona sometimes and they couldn't go grocery shopping there. But you also have to keep in mind that people make more money than in Sweden. I can tell you that because I worked at the same company as a personal trainer and receptionist at Actic. I worked at it both in Norway and in Sweden because I have the same company and I make much more money in Norway than in Sweden. But you mm. have to keep in mind again that all the products here are cheaper. So there's a balance there, kind of. But also because people make more money in Norway, there are a lot of people from Sweden who move to Norway in order to work there and get more money. Right. And Which makes sense. here I haven't really met any Norwegians, maybe one or two. But I think there's, there are more Swedish people in Norway than Norwegian people in Sweden, which is kind of weird. But I just think Norway is best. I'm sorry, Sweden. Norway is best. I really <laughs> miss Norway. Is it best? You can argue in the comment section amongst yourselves. So I've been living in two different cities in Sweden. Actually, I've been living in three different cities. I've been living in Norrköping. I've been living in Västerås. And now I'm living in Hula. And in all the apartments that we had, we had laundry rooms, which we shared with everyone in the same building. And I gotta tell you, I don't like it. <laughs> I hate ah, to think about like... So they don't have laundry rooms in Norway, I'm guessing. Like other people wash their clothes at the same spot. And you always have to book a time and plan it ahead. And also you have to walk all the way downstairs and upstairs and you have to get it and then you have to be at home to clean all your clothes all the time okay i just had to stop <laughs> myself right there because this was just like the laundry room i saw on the other girl's uh, video um i wouldn't mind this and also you could probably purchase your own washing machine if you wanted to i wouldn't mind this um and you book your slot so you don't have to like be in there with anyone else because it's everything fine. I said about the laundry room was too negative. And honestly, I'm just happy I have a washing machine that works. And there are worse things in life than a shared laundry room, honestly. And I mean, it comes with some advantages as well. If a machine wouldn't work, someone else would be fixing it and not me. Just to compare it to Norway, I had a shared laundry room in Norway as well. But at that oh. time, I was living in a student dormitory, but I never had one in a normal apartment. I don't think shared laundry rooms are as common as in Sweden. The houses or the buildings in Sweden and Norway can be really similar. Most of the houses in Sweden and in Norway are made of wood and they often have lots of colors like yellow or green or blue or red. And in Sweden, it's most common to have red houses with white windows which oh, okay. i think is really nice those houses actually look really cozy and i love that they have so many colors it just makes the cities look look much better than just gray houses or just brown houses or something like that yeah like in england like most of our houses are like red brick or brown brick it's just a bit boring really <laughs> unless you're in the countryside and you have a beautiful country like cottage then it's really nice but for the most part in the cities it's not great. If I compare Oslo to Stockholm, I got the impression that Oslo has more modern buildings than Stockholm, but I right. really love the old town in Stockholm with the narrow alleys and the traditional buildings there. I don't want to talk too much about politics, but let's just talk really quickly about it. Oh, so gosh. both Norway and Sweden are a parliamentary democracy and also a constitutional monarchy which means that they both like have the a UK. prime minister and they also both have kings and they both have castles, which I think is kind of cool. Now. I've actually been 
in the castle in Oslo. Um, it's not really like a fairy tale castle as you imagine. I mean, at least from the outside, it looks like this. And the Swedish one in Stockholm nice. looks like this. Wow. So as I said, I didn't want to talk too much about They're it. Nice. Just, let's just leave it there. Norway and Sweden. They're beautiful buildings. I can't lie. They're, they're beautiful palaces. Um, I'm trying to think of Buckingham Palace and whether it, if it's nicer. I don't know. I think they're really similar when it comes to politics, but I'm not 100% sure. Pretty nature. Another thing that Norway and Oslo have in common is that there's a lot of beautiful nature. I think Norway has more of the fjords and places where you can go on like steep hikes where you just go up, 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 and then you have a beautiful view. I mean, I haven't wow. been exploring that much in Sweden yet, but I don't think that there are a lot of fjords here. But I think both people from Sweden and from Norway are very active and they love to be in nature outdoors. And if you visit Norway or Sweden, if you go further north than I am right now, you can see the northern lights in in the winter time. And I still haven't seen it. I've been living in Norway for nine years, but I've mostly been what? living in Oslo, which is too far south. And I've never seen the northern lights. She's never so seen the northern I hope lights. I will see it someday because I think it's really beautiful. Saying that, you can actually see, kind of see the northern lights in the UK. Uh, in certain parts of Scotland, in certain parts of Northern England, and I'm from Northern England, um, and I've never seen the Northern Lights, or, and I've never tried to see the Northern Lights, and I know some people have actually seen them in my, my city of Leeds. Uh, so I can't blame her for not, uh, <laughs> for not seeing them her whole life. I heard. We can talk about the weather as well. The weather in Norway and Sweden is also really similar. Um, I mean, obviously there are neighbor countries, so I don't think there's lots of differences, um, but it depends where you are in the country. If you're further north, there the winters are of course much colder and darker. The thing in Norway and Sweden is that it, in the winter it gets dark really quickly. Um, here and in Oslo it's about around maybe three or four, it turns dark already. That's why the winters can actually be a little bit depressing sometimes. That's similar to the UK. There are some days. She said it in about three or four in uh, Oz, uh, the south. That's quite similar to the north of England. We, I'd say not three or four, yeah, I'd say about four o'clock. Um, in the height of winter, about four o'clock, 3.30, it starts getting dark. Four o'clock, it's even darker and then it's, probably sunset by 4.30. So it's not far off um, what we experience in England. But I know there are parts of uh, Sweden and Norway where it's like you get like an hour of daylight or a couple of hours of daylight. It's not crazy. So that's a bit different. It's in the north. I haven't been there, but I know that there are some days where there is no sun at all in the winter. There's a lot of people who think there are no summers in Sweden or Norway and that it's just cold the whole year, but that's not true. I mean, again, it depends on where you are in the country, but when I was living in Oslo, the summers can be really warm and there are people going swimming in the ocean and stuff like this. It's not like it's winter all year long. All in all, after this comparison, you can tell Norway and Sweden are pretty similar in a lot of things. And I feel very safe living in both of the countries Except that in Sweden, Alex and I experienced that people are stealing stuff. We mm. got, we had a scooter that got stolen and Alex had a jacket, an expensive jacket that got stolen. But I think we were just unlucky and I think that could happen in Oslo as well if you're not careful. Personally, I like it more in Norway, but this is just because I've been living there for more years and I'm more comfortable there and I understand the language more. But I could also picture myself living more years in Sweden if I have to. Thank you so much for watching this video. Okay. I hope you like this comparison. If you have been it in Sweden- It sounds like both countries are very, very, very similar. Um, I would love to visit both of them and just kind of compare for myself and see which one I like more. Um, I'm very invested in Sweden and I love all my Swedish subscribers and I've learned so much and I feel quite 
invested in Sweden <laughs> but I'm also invested in Norway and I'm starting to learn about Norway and I'm invested in Finland so to be honest I'm gonna have to visit all the countries aren't I? I have to go to Finland, I have to go to Norway and I have to go to Sweden um, and maybe Denmark but I haven't actually, I don't know anything about Denmark yet so we'll see. Guys thank you very much for watching until the next one I will see you later.